Hello and welcome to GED Mathematics Live at Pulse. In this video, I will be talking about graphing. In this topic, we will look into plotting points, graphing lines, and finding the intercepts of a line. Graphs of equations are made up of many individual points. To know how to graph a line or other equation, you must be comfortable graphing these points. The ordered pair, the x-coordinate and the y-coordinate. Again, points in the coordinate plane are called an ordered pairs. As you can see, ordered pairs always have an x value first and a y value second. These values tell you where the point is located in the coordinate plane. Plotting these points is really just about reading this ordered pair correctly. Starting from the origin, here, where the point is 0 and 0. The x-coordinate gives the distance left to right Negative means left, and the y-coordinate gives the distance up or down. Negative means down. Let's try an example. Okay, look at the screen. It says, plot the point negative 3 in 4 in the coordinate plane. The x-coordinate is negative 3, and the y-coordinate is... Four. So negative three or three to the left because it's negative and four positive four up because it's positive. So the point minus three and four is here. Okay. Okay, let's try another example. Okay, plot the following points on the coordinate plane. Okay, let's start with A. Okay, X is negative 2 and Y is 6. So ne negative 2 is 2 units to the left. So here... Two units and six units up so the point A is here then point B four units to the left and four units up so point B is here then point C eight to the left but we don't have much, so let's try to add. So this one is 7, so approximately 8 is here. Then negative 5 down, or 5 down. So the point is here. This is point C. Then point D is negative 3 and 9 units down. So 1... Two. So we don't have enough numbers, so let's add an approximate position of negative 9. So approximately point E, a point B is here. Okay, next, the last one is point E. Point E, uh, 0, so that's at the origin and 5 up. So point E is here. So that's how to plot the points on the coordinate plane. And now let's proceed to graphing lines. In general, the graph of any equation represents the plot of all points that make the equation true. To graph the equations called linear equations, 
you only need to find two points on the line. Once you find them, you can connect them to make the full graph. To do this, you can pick any two values of x and then see what the resulting values of y would be for that equation. Let's apply it on the equation given on the screen. It says, graph the line represented by the equation y is equal to 3x plus 1. Again, to find the two points, you can pick any two values of x. Then see what the resulting values of y would be for the given equation. So for this equation, let us pick... Uh, 0 and 1 for x. Okay. So what are the values of y? So solving, plugging the values is equals to 3 times 0 plus 1. So y is equals to 1. So it means when x is 0, y is 1. And then, the second one, y is equals to 3 times 1 plus 1. y is equals to 4. So, we, we have two ordered pairs. The first one is 0 and 1. The second one is 1 and 4. Then, let's plot it on the coordinate plane. So the first one is 0 and 1. So x is 0, so it's at the origin, and y is 1, so 1 unit up. The point is here. Next is 1 and 4. So 1 unit to the right, and uh, 4 units up. So the point is here. And then we can connect the, the points. So this is the graph of, for the equation y is equal to 3x plus 1. Let's try another example. Graph the line represented by the equation y is equal to negative 2x plus 4. So again, pick up at least two values of x to find the values of y. So let's pick up a negative 1 and 1. So let's solve. y is equal to minus 2 times negative 1 plus 4. So when x is negative 1, so negative 1 times negative 2 is 2. 2 plus 4 is 6. So y is equal to 6. It means when x is negative 1, y is 6. So how about when x is 1? Okay, so negative 2 times 1 is negative 2 plus 4. The answer is 2. So we have two ordered pair now. The first one is negative 1 and 6. And the second one is 1 and 2. Then let's plot the points on the coordinate plane. So negative 1, 1 to the left, and 6 up. So the point is here. And the other one is 1 to the right, and 2 up. So let's connect the two points. Okay, it's not a perfect line, but uh, that line is the graph for y is equal to minus 2x plus 4. And now let's proceed to intercepts. When we say intercepts, these are the points where the line passes through the x and y axis. If it passes the x axis, we call it x intercept, where y is 0. And if the line passes through the y-axis, then it is called y-intercept, where x is 
0. Now let's try an example. Let's find the x and y intercepts from a given equation. Now if you have been given an equation like this, y is equals to minus 4x plus 6, then you need to find the x and y intercept. Remember from the previous slide that x intercept uh, means y is 0. So to find the x intercepts, so x intercepts, we need to substitute uh, 0 to y. So we have y is equals to minus 4x plus 6. y is 0, so we have minus 4x plus 6. Then moving minus 4x to the other side, we have 4x is equals to 6. Then dividing both sides by 4, so we have x is equals to 3 over 3 over 2. So it means the x intercept is at point 3 over 2 and 0. Now let's find the y intercept. Again, y intercept is uh, the point where x is 0. So let's uh, substitute the 0 for the value of x. So y is equal to minus 4x plus 6. y is equal to minus 4 times 0 plus 6. So 4 times 0 is 0 plus 6 is 6. So y is equal to 6. So the y intercept is 0 and, and 6. So this is the y-intercept. Let's have a simple drill. Okay, find the x and y-intercept of the following lines. You can uh, pause the video and then answer question 1 and 2. And then continue the video to check your answer. Okay, here are the answers for the equation 1 and 2. The equation 1, the x-intercept is 8 over 3, so the ordered pair is 8 over 3 and 0. y-intercept is negative 2, and the ordered pair is 0 and negative 2. The second equation, the x-intercept is negative 5. So the ordered pair is negative 5 and 0, and the y-intercept is 5, and the ordered pair is 0 and 5. Equations 3, 4, and 5. Find the x and y-intercept. Okay, again, pause the video. Continue the video when you already have the answer and check your answer. Okay, here are the answer. For number 3, the x-intercept is 5 over 4, and the ordered pair is 5 over 4 and 0. Then the y-intercept is negative 10, and the ordered pair is 0 and negative 10. Equation 4, the x-intercept is 5, and the ordered pair is 5 and 0. The y-intercept is negative 15, so the ordered pair is 0 and negative 15. Number five, the x-intercept is two, the ordered pair is two and zero, and the y-intercept is two, and the ordered pair is zero and two. So that's the end of this video. If you have any question, if you did not understand part of the presentation, please do comment below so that we can make uh, another video to to help you understand more about plotting points, graphing lines, and and looking for the x and x and y intercepts. Okay, if you want to know more about our school, you can visit us at www.phuketpals.org, or you can contact us to our Facebook Phuket Pals, or call us on zero eight one four one seven zero nine seven eight.